Hello everyone, this is Rassan for Mavoie Canadian Immigration Made Easy and in this video we're going to talk about language exams, specifically how to find out your Canadian language benchmark based on your test results. So as most of you may know now, you need to take a test either in English or French to prove to the Canadian government that you speak the language, one of the two official languages of Canada. You only need to take one test, that's the minimum. But if you have two tests and you have a good score in them, you get additional point in your CRS score. So here we're going to take a look at the different exams that are accepted for the express entry. Then we're going to take a look at an example of a candidate who passed the IELTS and we're going to find out together how many points he got under the Canadian language benchmark. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving me a thumbs up that tells YouTube that I'm creating quality content and it encourages me to create more. Thank you. So here we have four charts. Every chart is for an exam. So we have the two exams for English, which are the CELPIP and the IELTS. Make sure if you're going to take one of these exams that you take the correct version, because if it's not the one listed here, if it's not the general test for the CELPIP, for example, it won't be accepted as proof for Canadian PR. The second English exam and the most famous is the IELTS or International English Language Testing System. It's hosted by the British Council pretty much anywhere in the world and you need to take the general training test for Canadian immigration purposes. The two valid exams for French are Test d'évaluation du français pour le Canada and Test de connaissance du français pour le Canada. The similarities between all those tests is that they assess the same skills which are reading, writing, listening, and speaking. So no matter which exam you take, you're going to be assessed on these. And now we're going to see how to figure out the score level that you got in the CLB, the Canadian language benchmark, which is used to assess your score in the comprehensive ranking system under the express entry based on your exam. All right, this is a scorecard from the IELTS. That's the test report. And we're going to take a look at the results here. We have listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Overall band score, this is not interesting for us right now. We're just gonna take a look at these four. So let's start with the first one, listening. We have six here. Six in listening at the IELTS mean that we're gonna take this line here, and that is an equivalent of seven in listening in the Canadian language benchmark. So we're gonna write down seven and keep moving. Second, we have reading. This is 6.5. So in reading, we're going to look for 6.5. 6.5 in reading is 8 in the CLBs. So we're going to write down 8. Next one is writing, 5.5. So writing here, 5.5, that's a 6 in the CLBs. And the last one is speaking, that is 6 again in the IELTS. So speaking 6, that would be seven in the CLBs. Unfortunately, this candidate wouldn't qualify under the Canadian Experience class or the Federal Skilled Worker program because he has obtained six here. And that's a problem. In order to qualify for these two programs, you must have a minimum level of CLB seven in each category. So seven in reading, seven in writing, seven in listening, and seven in speaking. Be careful of that when you prepare for your exam because it doesn't matter if you have 10, 10, 10, and 6, you won't be qualified. It's really tricky, so make sure you plan ahead and prepare accordingly. That's it for me. I hope you found this video useful. Like always, if you have any questions, you can write them down in the comment section, and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.